How's it going guys? It's John. This is another Lost Ark video. This time we're covering the collectibles in Yorn. The collectibles we're talking about are the Adventure Tome collectibles. We're not talking about Makoko seeds. We're talking about these guys right here. Where to farm all of these in Yorn. So if you haven't watched my other videos, just letting you know about collectibles. Give you the quick collectibles 101. They can drop from any mob within the zone, any region, but pretty much any mob. Normal mobs, the elite mobs, which are the horned icon, like a bull icon on your minimap. They can also drop from the named mobs, which are the ones that have an orange border around them. The thing with collectibles, they usually have a higher chance to drop from named mobs. Again, the mobs with the orange border around them. I've been doing a ton of these videos. I've already done like, I don't know, like eight or nine of them or something like that. And I can say with certainty that named mobs have a much higher chance of dropping collectibles than normal and elite mobs. It seems that elites have about the same drop rate as normal mobs. The only difference with elite mobs is they're slightly stronger than normal mobs. And they drop like the Providence stones and like usually a potion or two or something like that. But other than that, they're basically the same as normal mobs in terms of drop rate for collectibles. And then the other thing, you can also buy the collectibles on the market over here on Adventures Tome. You can just do a search. You have to individually search for the items, but uh, generally speaking, they're pretty cheap. Uh, it's only like Yorn, Phaeton, Punica, like the higher level regions, the stuff is a lot more expensive. So if just expect to pay money. If you don't want to farm these things, you're going to have to shell out the money, especially for Yorn. This stuff is pretty expensive for Yorn. Okay, so also, just letting you guys know, I've made maps for all of the zones, uh, except for the capital city, obviously. The main places we're going to be looking at are Yorn's Cradle, Unfinished Garden, and Iron Hammer Mine. Hall of Promise and Black Anvil Mine, those two zones right here, they're kind of shit. They don't really have that many named mobs. All these zones are actually kind of shit compared to other zones, but, you know, we do what we can with what we got. Okay, so we're here in Yorn's Cradle. Particularly, the areas we're going to be talking about are right here. There's a bunch of, like, bandit slaver guys or something. There's one elite right here, one elite in the middle, and then one over here. Named mobs, I mean, not elites. <laughs> the guys with the orange. And then also on this side, there's one named mob right here, one named mob right here, and then another one down here. So the best thing to do is probably just mount up. Kill these guys, mount up to the next one, kill this guy, mount up to the next one. Just pretty much just be going up and down right here or on this side, just keep going up and down. So yeah, there's this guy right here on the top and come down to the middle. There should be, yep, yeah, here's another one. Um, something to note with these, with Z uh, Yorn, I was gonna say Zorn. <laughs> uh, oh, this guy is farming up here. Or it could be a bot. Um, something to note with Yorn, the respawn times on the name mobs are a lot longer than other places. It's like 40 to 50 seconds or something like that. So you will be having to kill normal mobs as you're waiting. So just, you know, kill normal guys as you're waiting for the respawns, you know, as you're going up and down in these places. Here's the second spot in Yorn's Cradle is talking about, look at, we got a bot or somebody just farming, who knows. There's one that spawns right here and then you can come down this way. There's another one over here right here and then the last guy should be to the south over here yep here he is so like i said you could just you know run circles work your way up you know maybe kill the guys in the circle here work your way up kill them and then come back um like i said you're gonna have to kill a lot of normal mobs in this place because the respawn times are a lot longer than other zones and then there's just not that many name mobs to begin with okay so we're over here in unfinished garden I'm going to show you three spots. There's this spot right here. There's an elite uh, name mob. I'm sorry, right here. <laughs> Another name mob right here. So you can kind of go in a circle in this room, killing all the normal mobs plus the name mobs. The second spot is over here in the north. There's a name mob right here and another name mob right here. Uh, so you can go up and down. There's like a mushroom. You can jump up and down and kill. There's a ton of normal mobs right here too. So you can just run in circles or maybe jump over here, kill these guys, and then come back and kill that one. And the third spot is over here in the bottom right corner. There's two name mobs, one right here, and then another one right here. There is a pretty decent amount of mobs, but not as many as this top area. I would say in this zone in Unfinished Garden, I would say probably this spot right here and this spot right here are probably the best spots to farm. So over here in the corner, here's this first name mob over here. And then like I said, you can just come down. You could just run in a circle around the room, kill all the name mobs. You could probably pull like maybe half the room or something. There's another name mob that spawns right here. He's just got killed or something. See, there's a pretty decent amount of regular normal mobs. So you could kill a lot of these guys while you're waiting. So over here at the top spot over here, see down below there's this name mob right here. And then you can just hop on the mushroom right here. 
and you can pretty much just pull this whole top area. I yeah, see there's some guys over here, some over here. That's kind of nice. You could probably pull this whole area. Yeah. Pretty much pull this whole area and then just AoE him down. That's pretty nice. And then while you're waiting for respawns, if you want, uh, you can run over to this little side area. I believe there's some more guys over here. Yeah, there is. There's no name mob over here, but there is a decent amount of normal mobs, so you could just pull them all. Cluster them all together, AoE them down. And then you can just hop on down here and start all over again, kill the name mob. I think this probably might be one of the best spots in all of Yorn. Uh, this spot, and then I think the one down here. We're gonna go look at the other one right now and see. But I think this spot's probably one of the best spots here. Okay, so now we're down here at the bottom area. I was telling you about, should be a named guy. Yep, here's one named guy, one of the big little worm fat dudes. And then there's another named one down here. So this is a kind of decent spot. They're just kind of spread out, the mobs here. So it's kind of like you have to do it in two pulls, like kill the bottom guys and then come up here and kill the top guys. But you see what I mean? They're kind of spread out. That's why I feel like this spot's not as good as that top area I was talking about. As that top area, they're way closer together. They're much easier to just cluster the mobs together and just AoE them down. Um, but I don't know. I don't know which one is kind of like the second place spot between these two. I almost want to say probably Youthful Garden is probably the second place spot just because there's more mobs. You can kind of just keep going in a circle. Um, I don't know. Try them out. See which one you like the best. I still think this top area in Unfinished Gardens, probably number one. Okay, so we're over here in Iron Hammer Mine. This is the last area I'm gonna show you. Uh, so we have, there's one name mob right here, there's one right here, another one right here, and then the last one is over here. So you could probably do like, maybe just go up and down right here, maybe run over to this side. If I remember correctly, let's go look at it. I don't think there's too many mobs. Okay, I'm full of shit, there's pretty decent mobs. <laughs> so you can stay in this top area, kill these guys, then move over west. Yeah, see, it's kind of spaced out, though. That's the thing. It wouldn't be as good to farm as those other places. Yeah, see, there's the other guy you could kill. All right, there is pretty decent mob density. That's pretty good. That's like 20 guys or something like that. That's really good. Look at that. That would be a nice kill right there. And then you can come down and grab this uh, third guy over here. Who's not here? Oh, there he is. Hey, see what I mean? This third guy is kind of spaced out. And there's that other one I was showing you that's uh, right here, but kind of I feel like you kind of have to go out of your way to go up here and go up the hill. Kind of feel like he's not really worth it. But this would be another decent spot. I feel like this is probably like a second place, maybe third place spot. I still think that spot in Unfinished Garden at the top is probably number one. Okay, and the last spot we're gonna show you is over here at the top, towards leading towards Hall of Promise. We got one name mob right here, another one right here, and there's also another one over here. Uh, this is again probably another like third rate, maybe second rate spot to the big old eye guys. Um, the only reason why I brought it up is because there is a ton of normal mobs, so it would be pretty easy to just pull these guys together and just AoE them down. So that's the way it seems like a lot of places are in Yorn at least. It just seems like it's a lot of like, oh, there's one or two name guys, and then there's like a ton of regular normal ones that you could kill. So this would actually be a good part right here. This is pretty good mob density in this northern area. Okay, and then lastly, talking about the dungeons, in case all the farming spots are taken and you have to go farm in dungeons. Um, the brewery is pretty good. I kind of just don't like this intro part of the brewery where you have to get drunk and you're at the table and stuff. You can kind of skip it, and then like this central area right here is where a lot of the good mob density is, and then I would probably just sing your song to get out. And then for the last dungeon, Ark of Arrogance, I feel like this one's better because I kind of feel like it has really good mob density all throughout the dungeon. It doesn't kind of slow down to like about over here towards the end. Um, but I feel like the Ark of Arrogance is pretty good if you're going to farm a dungeon. Because <laughs> you could pretty much just clear your way all the way to, to almost towards the end, then play the song to get out and restart all over. So if you have to farm a dungeon, I would say probably do Ark of Arrogance. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, I have all the maps down below in the description. Please just look at the maps if you need to. I don't really care if you watch the video. So uh, just, you know, look at the maps. But yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And I hopefully it helped you out to get all your collectibles. And I'll see you next time. Bye.